I'd like to give you a close-up of how to do the interweaving move. Uh, it's harder to see if you don't have a close-up shot of your hands as you're trying to do the one-handed interweaving riffle shuffle. What happens is you're taking a little bit less than half of the deck. You're making sure that these are very nice and neat. You'll notice that one thing that magicians do a lot is they, uh, they try to straighten and square up their cards a lot. So this will really affect the quality of your riffle uh, shuffle. And you come in like this and you're going to feel you can work on the corners, you can feel into so that you get the inner weave really locked in. You'll see what it looks like. And then you can come up, buckle the cards, and then release for your interweaving shuffle there. So the important thing is to get the the cards to weave in nicely. Let me get just a little bit bigger a portion here to get them as nice as you can. You want to you don't want to hold your cards really tight when you're trying to put it in, but you're holding them somewhat loosely, and you're trying to find the perfect weave. Trying to interweave it as nicely as you can. Trying to make it neat. You can kind of tighten it a little bit when you come up like that, and you hold it like this. When you release, this is what's going to happen in slow motion. As you see the interlocking cards come down. This will take a lot of practice getting the hang of it. Uh, this is not something that you can do in one night. Uh, it took me a number of months just to get the, the interweaving move to be halfway nice. There's a nice little weave here. You're holding it like this. You're coming and buckling the cards, and they riffle down like that. So keep on practicing, making sure that the cards are nice and square. You can come in from the corners to make sure the weave is nice. And usually I, I hold it more on the back portion of the cards with my fingers. These are the two main fingers, my ring finger and middle, middle finger. This just controls it from the front. And this is kind of like in the middle, then I'm just releasing it as I do the shuffle. That's in slow motion. So keep on practicing. Be patient when you learn this move and it will be a wonderful uh, shuffle that you can use in your magic routines. A wonderful flourish.